directeur de Villeneuve hier van de Risk and Compliance Network. Uh, ik ben hier op de Compliance. Uh, I am here at the uh, Compliance Summer School with Timor. And Timor, uh, I would like to ask you to share your first impressions of uh, this uh, Compliance Summer School. But first, you, uh, can you please explain uh, the company you're working for and how that is? Lars, thanks so much. Uh, my name is Timur. I am a compliance officer at the company called Enza Zaden. It's a company with Dutch roots, but we have operations globally and it's a biotechnological company. I'm so glad to be here. I have been to many conferences in many countries. And what I feel that here we have, first of all, a very international community. We have people right from different continents with absolutely different background, but they are about risks and compliance. And we have such a great speakers. That was fantastic. I just opened for myself a new universe when, for example, we're talking about nonverbal things. Yeah. So that was a very, very positive vibe, very interesting positioning uh, of people who are telling you very interesting things. And it's from the uh, my future work perspective is very, very helpful because you are getting so many hints and so many practical insights. Thank you very much for all the, all, all the information that you just shared. Um, one final question. Do you think that uh, the, the, the hurdle for a, a whistleblower to, uh, to ring the bell uh, that it has been lowered nowadays because of the new legislation. Do you have any idea about that? Thank you for this question. I believe that we will see the increasing number of the cases related to the whistleblower. And uh, we had today a very good, interesting session with practical hints how to deal with that because of the new legislation in the EU, new legislation in the Netherlands we are facing a lot of more challenges and a lot of more cases to come. Thank you very much, Timor. Thank you. Nice uh, to, to cooperate in this interview.